Lehi Dizdani Benzona. Fuck you too, dog. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Israel? It's Jeremy Pargo here, sitting with my man Aaron Jackson. We out here in Milan, supporting our head, supporting our team, getting ready for tomorrow. We're gonna see what Maccabi has to offer. You know, I think we're preparing well. well we just, we just, we just want to do what we can in to duplicate what we did the past two games. We know how tough it is to win uh, three games, but this is a 48-hour, 48-hour uh, tournament, and right now we just want to play uh, physical and try to get them uncomfortable as much as possible. Um, you know, just duplicate what we did the, the first two games. What do you feel is the, the number one key we got to do to stop Maccabi and to get to the championship game? Man, we got to be ourselves. That's the biggest thing is being ourselves. Um, you know, we struggled the last two games that we played, you know, so those are behind us. We just got to continue to be ourselves and, and get back to doing what we do best. And we'll be all right. Um, have you, have you, you've been to Israel one time, right? How do you like it? How do you like Israel? Um, Israel is a, it's a beautiful place. First time uh, being in Tel Aviv when we played against uh, Maccabi, it's a beautiful, beautiful arena. Um, you know, I had a good time there. Um, had one of my best games this year, this year in the Euro League. Just, just a great atmosphere. Uh, how do you feel about the importance of uh, Devin Smith and uh, him missing two games and now having him back? Oh man, that was big. That was big, and uh, we have to be ready for what he what he brings to the table. Um, he can do a lot of different things, which makes him a really good player. He can score the ball, can defend, post up. So uh, we got to be ready for it. I mean, it's not going to be an easy game at all. So uh, I think we'll come out ready and prepared. You know, it's time. Uh, Sopo has been out um, in the, uh, Israel, the Israel League games, and uh, I know you play with him. How do you think this might affect him? Um, would it be an advantage for us? Or, you know, he hasn't played in the physical game in Euro League in some time. Neither has he played in the Israeli League. So uh, how do you feel that it's going to be? Are you a journalist? Did you go to journalism school? That was a pretty good question. That's a pretty good question. But um, you know, Sofo is a Sofo is a heck of a player, man. Um, he had one of his best Euro League years when I played with him, and uh, I've seen him at his best. And um, we got to do our best not to let him come out and be at his best. Um, if he's at his best, it could be a long night for us. But we're gonna come out and do a lot of different things, a lot of different schemes, and uh, do our best to slow him down. You hear that, Sofo? Slow you down. Um, no, uh, I think Blatt's a great coach. His, his pace of the game is uh, is pretty much NBA pace. Um, you know, he, he brings a lot of guys that plays the NBA style. Um, and, and uh, you know, he's a really smart guy. He understands emotions of players, uh, different attitudes, and uh, he understands how to get it all into one. And uh, I think that's one of those things you need as a, as a coach in the NBA to be successful. And, uh, because, you know, you're dealing with a lot of different things in the NBA. You know, you're dealing with guys that are – you know, that are pretty much the coach themselves or guys that uh, that don't agree with the coach. And you have to be able to work it all out and put it into one and be able to get wins in uh, difficult situations. And I think he's pretty good at that. So, you know, I think it's, uh, it's, it's if he gets an opportunity, you know, it's a good opportunity for him. Pargo and Aaron Jackson signing out. Good night, Israel. Lila Tov. Um, uh, just a lot of stuff. You know, I know a lot of different Hebrew. I'm good at it, but I'll see you guys at some point.